It's going to be hard to follow that, I'm afraid. I just want to thank you all for being here today, and particularly I want to thank the organisers of this event. It really means a lot to a lot of the people that may not be here today, but we know we're always speaking for more people than actually turn up at these events. So thank you so much for doing that. As the former MP for this city, people still come to me when they need help. So I know that people are really struggling. They're juggling which bill they can afford to pay. They're penalised financially when they miss a payment. They're feeding gas and electric meters that charge them more for the offence of being hard up. The price we pay for things is now much higher. Retail price inflation is now at 7.5%, but our incomes are not rising to match. We're being asked to survive on less after more than a decade of already doing so. The government have removed the £20 uplifts to the universal credit benefits that was helping thousands of families in our city. And there's still worse to come. Our gas and electric bills are going to double. That's despite those companies making billions of pounds in profits every year and yet paying very little in tax. Next month our national insurance contributions will go up. It's the same old story. Those with the least are always asked to pay the most. If government wanted to find the money, it can be found. They can line their mates' pockets with billions of pounds in dodgy contracts. They can wipe billions of pounds in business fraud off at the stroke of a pen. They can spaff £37 billion on a track and trace app that doesn't even work and millions in faulty and out-of-date PPE. Boris Johnson and, and his hilt will never understand. They were born into wealth and privilege. They got the best education that money can buy. Their money was inherited. When you've got money to start with, everything is easier. How can people like him be the people to fix our problems when they have no idea what our struggles are? It's the job of government to solve these issues, to make our lives easier, but they're failing to act. They're failing to protect us. We shouldn't have to rely on charity to feed our families. We shouldn't have to work for poverty pay. And we shouldn't have to make the choice between eating and heating our own homes. We're seeing record champagne sales in this country, yet we allow children to go to bed hungry. We have the indignity of food banks, baby banks, and now blanket banks. We allow our pensioners to live in poverty. We allow people to sleep on the streets. Something is very, very wrong and no one should stand it. We need decent jobs with wages that pay. We need affordable housing and well-funded public transport. We need the renationalisation of the services that we all rely on. Run for the people of this country and not the shareholders. I'll leave you with a quote from Nelson Mandela. He said, overcoming po poverty is not an act of charity, it's an act of justice. It's the protection of a fundamental human right, the right to dignity and to a decent life. Thank you for all being here today. It shows those people that are struggling that there are people that care. Thank you so much.